Look, I'm really trying to have a good time today, and the Human Revolution crud muffins have made that very hard for me. Your interrogation this morning took a bad day to worse. I asked around about you, Jerno, and I don't have anything to say to you. The last thing I need is you prodding at me without telling me your press. Besides, the VIP section is only for hybrids and friends on hybrid night, and no way am I vouching for you. Hey, Bouncer! We got a capital A asshole over here! You heard her, let's go. How rude. She didn't even give us a chance to explain ourselves. We have to get back in there and try to be reasonable. Surely she will see the importance of our task once we've explained everything. But that bouncer probably won't let us back in. Perhaps we should try befriending someone nearby and convince them to vouch for us? It's a statistical long shot, but the worst case scenario shouldn't leave an excessive amount of physical damage. was drinking. Good to see you back. What can I do for you? What are you having? Thanks, son. Here you go. Hey, how'd you know my favorite? Haven't I seen you at my tattoo parlor before? I'm Boris. Have a seat. Well, as long as you don't mind me being distracted by this jerk. Oh, you don't know the half of it. My boss has just managed to lock themselves out of our company servers. 
I'm not sure exactly what they did, and I don't have my company ROM on me, so I'm trying to walk them through what to do over the phone. It's not going well. It could be any number of things. I already confirmed it wasn't just a password issue. They probably deleted themselves off of the user table or something. I hate giving non-IT people that kind of access. But the higher-ups in the company insisted on it. So incompetent. I'll probably just have to go down there and do it myself. <sighs> ah, I'm not gonna be able to do this over the phone. I guess I gotta head out and take care of this. It was nice talking to you. Thanks for letting me vent. I hope it wasn't too much. Maybe I'll see you around. Hey, good to see you back. Sorry, it's being rented out for a private party tonight. Hybrid night. I try not to judge, but I don't think this is your crowd. What are you having? Hey, hon, uh, what's in this one? Is Thanks, son. Here you go. Well, look who has good taste. I'm Sylvan. What's a wet drink like yourself doing here? Well, thanks for the drink. The club is a little dead tonight, so it's nice to see a new face. You know anyone here? Oh, are you? <laughs> How very forward. Anyone in particular, or just waiting for something to catch your interest? <laughs> you and everyone else, honey. Well, thanks for the drink, but I think I'm gonna play the room a little more. Maybe we'll run into each other again. See you back. What are you having? Hey, hon, uh, what's in that? This one is... Thank you, hon. Here you go. How did you know what I was planning on ordering? Well, at least keep me company while I drink it. I'm Caitlin. I'm 
I'm usually a lot more sociable. Things have just been rough today. My brother's going through gene therapy. He still has to go in at least twice a week for health and maintenance. There are human revolution protesters outside the clinic making it even harder for him. They're always outside harassing anyone coming in. It's exhausting. No one else lives around here, so I'm kind of all he's got. But it's not a big deal. He'll be done with the main set of treatments in a few weeks, and we'll be free of them. I just feel bad for everyone else they're messing with. Aw, thanks a lot. I'm lucky to have him. So, there's plenty of people here. What made you want to talk with me? Oh geez, this really is my favorite drink. I have to wake up early for class, but I'm at the club, so I guess I'm already too deep in. <laughs> well, don't spread this around, but to blow off steam sometimes, I like to write short stories. Nothing too serious, just stories about people I know. We'll see. Hey, it's been really nice talking to you, but I kind of feel like dancing now. You, you want to come with me to the VIP area in the back? I have some friends who might be over there. We can hang out with them. They'll like you. Great, let's go. Didn't I say to beat it? She said we could join her. Ugh, alright. But it's on her if you can't stay out of trouble. Uh, hey! You have an incoming call priority marked as urgent. Well, hope you come by again. Sorry for making up the call. I'm still getting used to the whole subterfuge thing you humans do. However, we can take another run at having a conversation with Jess. We have a dragon to slay. Onward! I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. I first saw you, I hoped you'd be dropped like a bad packet off the mesh net and I'd never have to see you ever again. So of course, I just got off the phone with Tomcat, practically begging me to help you out. You aren't so good at the long-term play thing, are you? You mean you don't stick both feet in your mouth every time you talk to a hybrid? Surprising! Let's just get one thing straight here. I'm only willing to talk to you because I owe Tomcat. I don't owe you shit. So if you want my help, you gotta do something for me. If you got a problem with that, tough. My neighborhood, my health, my rules. 
What I don't need is you kissing my fuzzy ass. Only people I like get to do that. I'm not buying it anyway. I need you to break up those human revolution protests. The ones at the Genus Clinic on Market Street. I'd like this handled with some stealth. Not that I expect you to know what discreet means. Either way, just get it done. I got clients in the middle of treatment cycles. And this media circus is making their lives difficult. That means it's making my life difficult. Let the bastards go march somewhere else. Like Washington. Not here. I'm just great. I'm peachy. My clients get harassed and beaten on the daily. I don't have the time or money to help them all. And I have jackasses like you bothering me on my one day off. So, you gonna braid my fur and we can talk about all our problems and boys we like? You want to help? Don't treat hybrids like animals for living out their lives. All of this isn't even a choice for some of us. You want to know what my deal is? You really want me to get sappy? Skin cancer. Stage three. My prognosis was so advanced that the doc said my bones were already lost. So I had to do something drastic. Completely restart my biology from scratch. You ever seen someone with a severe gene splice? From something freaky, like an insect? That's where hypertech began, you know. Where my therapy started. You can't imagine what it's like to have children cry from just looking at you. When people just see you and sprint the other direction. I had police following me everywhere I went. I lost my apartment. I lost my dignity. Eventually, I was lucky enough to qualify for the cute kitty cat cure to override the expression of the chitin. It changed my life. I have my job and purpose because of it. The fur doesn't scare the rest of the world too much to let me exist. Better an otaku's fluffy wet dream than the monster from a horror VR drama from Japan. My mom still can't look at me straight. Not to get even mushier, but as a kid, she would sing me a song as she counted all the freckles on my face. She hasn't let that go. You know how your folks look at you when they figure out you finally had sex or did crash? It's like that. All the time. Oh, now you're sorry. You haven't even heard the worst part yet. The amount of gene therapy I underwent exceeded the limit that the Human Protection Act allows for procreation. So yeah, the government freaking spayed me, if it all wasn't hilariously dark enough. First I'm too ugly to look at, now I'm too screwed up to breed. Saving my own life forfeited my right to be a person. The Human Protection Act. Ha! Apparently, protecting humans doesn't include me. Only genotypicals could live in this city and truly think they're the ones who need some protection the most. In any case, I had some clean eggs frozen and we'll whip them out whenever I'm ready. Except keeping that shit on ice costs. And my insurance decided to just not pay up due to the elective nature of my feline gene therapy. So I took those bastards to court, and won. And I've been doing the same thing for everybody else ever since. So, there you go. I got cancer, super science fixed me up and left me a freak, and then the government sterilized me so I wouldn't go out and make more little monsters. And everyone else gets to be the winner by default. Happy now? How's your savior complex doing? This is getting you off. Don't tell me you would have treated me better if you had. It's never true. 
I need honesty more than sympathy. You know? Break up those protests, and then we'll talk. All right, it sounds like we know what we need to do next. Let's go to Market Street and break up those protests for Jess. 